Hillary Clinton has long been touting her experience, but questions are being raised now about whether she's done some embellishing of her record. Here's investigative correspondent Cheryl Ackeson. It was supposed to be an example of Hillary Clinton's battle-tested experience. I remember landing under sniper fire. In the speech last week, Senator Clinton was referring to her visit to Tuzla, Bosnia in 1996 as First Lady. The brutal war was over, but hostilities continued. And though the trip was exactly 12 years ago tomorrow, the memory seemed etched in Clinton's mind. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles uh, to get to our base. Problem is, that's not what happened. And we should know, CBS News accompanied the First Lady and daughter Chelsea on that Bosnia trip. That's Senator Clinton talking to me on the military flight into Tuzla. And these are the pictures we recorded of the greeting ceremony when the plane landed. Compare that to Senator Clinton's account. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was no greeting ceremony, and we basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. Thank you. There was no sniper fire either when Senator Clinton visited two army outposts where she posed for photos, and no sniper fire back at the base. Last night I where she sang at a USO show starring Sinbad and Sheryl Crow. I can't cry no more. Referring to the CBS News video, Clinton aides today acknowledged her arrival in Bosnia was not quite as dramatic as Clinton put it. She meant that there was fire in the hillside around the area when we landed, which was the case. Who knows if she misremembered, misspoke, exaggerated, whatever, it makes the case for Senator Obama that all this experience that she's been talking about is at least partly her imagination. Hundreds of thousands have viewed the video online in just the past few days, a reminder that in politics, memory should always match the videotape. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Washington. <coughs> I remember landing under sniper. Yeah, no, wait, that's what I said when I was sleep deprived. You can read my book, and I said <laughs> something very different. Yeah, I misspoke. Yeah, it was totally, I was totally misspoke. You know, I've talked about this endlessly. I wrote about it, and I don't know what I was thinking because, yeah, we were told that we had to land under, you know, some threats, and the military did a great job. I was the first first lady taken to a war zone since Eleanor Roosevelt, um, but uh, that was just sleep deprivation or something.